The Tesla solar ecosystem is basically your ticket to a steady supply of free, sustainable energy. It's freedom from the public electricity grid and even a lifeline in the face of a natural disaster. Today we are talking about the Tesla solar roof and power wall system and why this is easily one of the best decisions you can make for your home. Hey Elonites, welcome to the Tesla space where we share the latest news, rumors, and insights into all things Tesla, SpaceX, and Elon Musk. By this time, most people have caught on that Tesla is more than just an electric car maker. This is more like an energy company whose main product happens to come in the form of a vehicle. The star of the show has always been the electronics, the batteries, the power system, and over time, they've been getting better and better at building the actual car around it all. The Tesla solar roof and power wall is their first step beyond the car and towards creating an entire Tesla powered ecosystem for your home. If an electric car is freedom from the fossil fuel industry, then Tesla solar is freedom from corporate electricity. This system has been working through some kinks over the past couple of years, and it's looking like now is the time for Tesla Solar to start going mainstream. This project began at Tesla about five years ago when they acquired a company called Solar City, who were the leading residential solar installer in the United States. It's no coincidence that Solar City happened to be founded by two of Elon Musk's cousins, and Elon actually helped them to start up the business and served as their chairman. In 2016, the decision was made for Tesla to merge with Solar City in a $2.6 billion deal. Now, there was some obvious controversy over family ties, and there was definitely some shady business going on around the whole thing. In the month leading up to a shareholder vote on the merger, Elon tried to win over his investors by showing off his revolutionary design for the solar roof tile, and it worked. The vast majority of shareholders voted to approve the deal, but it later turned out that the tiles Elon had been showing off were fake. They didn't actually do anything. And his whole presentation was a bluff on an idea that he was pretty sure would work, but hadn't actually been invented yet. Luckily, that one worked out for him in the end, which seems to be the case on most things. Now, everyone is pretty familiar with rooftop solar panels. Those have been around forever and they're not unusual to see mounted on top of houses and buildings. The Tesla product is just an evolution of that same design that streamlines the panels and the roof into one system. As Elon says, it's not a thing on a roof, it is the roof. Somehow, Tesla engineers have been able to redesign the solar panel to look pretty much identical to a roof shingle. There are other companies that offer a similar product, but so far no one else has figured out how to make a solar panel not look like a solar panel. Currently, the only option available from Tesla looks pretty much the same as a regular shingled roof, but eventually they will have products that look the same as Tuscan tiles or textured slate, so you can pick an option that best suits your house. The Tesla tiles are made from tempered glass, they're extremely durable, supposedly more resistant to impact than traditional roof tiles, and they're warranted for 25 years by Tesla. So far, the roofers installing them have said they have had no problems walking around on the tiles, even dropping tools on them by mistake doesn't seem to cause any damage. And on top of being aesthetically pleasing, the Tesla solar roof is becoming cheaper and easier to install. Between the first iteration of the product and the current version 3, Tesla has been able to reduce the cost of installation by around 40%. They've done it in pretty much the same way they have improved their vehicle production, by making everything more efficient. The current Tesla roof uses about half the amount of material that the original installations required, and the process is so streamlined now that Tesla is able to train pretty much any conventional roofing company on how to do the installation. These roofers then become Tesla Solar authorized installers and these partnerships will support the rollout of the solar roof to a wider market, which is important because from what I can tell, there is more demand for this product than there is capacity to install it and a lot of people are stuck on waiting lists. The cost of installing a solar roof depends completely on the design of your house, obviously. Elon claims that overall, the cost of Tesla's product is about 30% cheaper than the US average for the same power output. It works out to about $1.50 per watt of power output, depending on what incentives are available to you. 
But to put that in a more tangible sense, I've heard from the partner roofing companies that the cost of a Tesla roof runs about four times the price of a regular asphalt shingle installation, which would be your cheapest option for a roof in most cases. So that's one way to gauge the cost if you already have an estimate for a conventional roof replacement. The cost of Tesla's solar roof is definitely going to come out more expensive than a regular shingle roof with solar panels. That's still your cheapest option, probably by around 25%. But the Tesla tiles are a superior material to asphalt shingles. They're more comparable with a premium roof like tile or slate, which is where the value for the Tesla roof really starts to kick in. From the calculations that I've seen done, it looks like Tesla solar would cost about half the price of a full tile roof plus solar panels. So comparing apples to apples, it looks like Tesla is a really good value. Then there is the cost of maintenance. Much like an electric car is going to be cheaper to maintain than a conventional vehicle, it really seems like the Tesla roof is going to be more cost effective in the long run as well. The Tesla tiles are installed in a modular system. It's basically a network of tracks that are attached to the house and the tiles just snap into place on the tracks. That means if one tile does get broken or has to be replaced for any reason, they can literally just pop it out and snap in a new tile, no sweat. I'm sure everyone has seen what happens to a shingle roof when it needs to be replaced. The roofers come in and scrape the whole thing off, leaving debris and junk all around the house. And if you have existing solar panels over top of a shingle roof that needs to be replaced, now there is an extra cost to take the panels down, store them, and then put them back up again. The Tesla roof puts an end to all of that. The only catch seems to be that if you live in an area that doesn't get regular rainfall, you might have to hose off your roof every now and then just to keep it clean. Not really a big deal. Okay, so you've got a solar roof. Now what? Your roof now converts sunlight into DC energy, which is fed into your Tesla inverter box and comes out as AC energy that can be used to power your home. Any excess or unused electricity gets offloaded into your local power grid, and usually you'll get a credit for any power that you supply back to your utility company. Whenever the roof is not generating power, like at nighttime, your house pulls electricity from the grid just like normal. And the biggest downside to this system comes when your area experiences a power outage. In this case, your home electricity goes down along with everyone else, even if your solar panels are still collecting energy, you can't use it. Your solar inverter has to shut down along with the grid, and that's basically because the utility workers who are trying to fix the power lines need them to be completely dead in order to be safe. If your house is still pushing electricity into the lines, then that's a bit of a problem. There's a solution to the problem though, and that's where the Tesla Powerwall comes in. This is just a big ass battery for your house. Same battery tech that is under the floor of any Tesla car goes into this box. It's about four feet tall, only about six inches deep, and it can live in your garage or even just on the outer wall of your house. And this is the key to energy independence. You can use a power wall with the typical power grid and store energy in case of an emergency. But when you combine this with the solar roof, then you end with your own fully contained electricity ecosystem. So instead of sending the excess solar energy back into the grid, it can be stored in the power wall battery. Now, when it's dark outside, your house will just pull electricity from the battery instead of having to switch over to the grid. Just one power wall probably won't be enough to fully power an entire house, but it can definitely help to minimize the amount of power you are drawing from the grid during the night, and it provides a backup of stored electricity. You can go nuts and have up to 10 power walls all collecting electricity, in which case you could easily run a big house completely independent with no worries. So even when the power grid goes down in your area, your house can just keep on like normal. The roof sends power to the batteries and the batteries send power to your house and all your neighbors send jealousy at you with their eyes. Of course, being a Tesla product, this whole system is extremely smart and everything can be managed from your smartphone via the Tesla app. So you can see in real time how much power is being generated by your roof, how much is stored in your power wall, and how much electricity is being used by your house. You can set the power wall up in different ways, either to hold 100% charge all the time and only kick in as a backup. You can have it come on automatically at night and use stored solar energy to power your house while still holding a certain percentage in reserve. You can even set it to work around a time of use billing cycle where the power wall will make sure you aren't drawing from the grid during peak times. 
Then there is a feature called Stormwatch. If your app sees a weather forecast for a major storm in your area, it will automatically charge the power wall up to 100% and keep it full for as long as possible. So you don't even need to think about it. When you need it the most, the system will be ready to go. It seems like you should be able to run your house for about one day off a fully charged power wall, which is about the average length of a blackout. The solar roof can draw a bit of power during bad weather, but not much. And to last multiple days, you'd want to have two or more power walls and drop your energy use. One obvious concern here when we're talking about this as an emergency backup, does this all work in the snow? Being a Canadian, this is top of mind for me, but after what we saw happen in Texas with those freak snowstorms and day-long power failures, it's something everyone should be considering. So far, we've seen some pretty compelling evidence that the solar roof is able to clear itself of snow fairly well. It definitely holds less snow than a regular shingled roof, so that's a start. Elon says that the tiles are slightly hydrophobic and that helps stop the snow from building up on the top. It looks like for most people in the US, it should be just fine, but the solar roof is going to be launching in Canada soon, and I'm curious to see how it handles a proper heavy snowstorm. Sometimes we get like two feet of snow falling in a single day. It's honestly insane and my house ends up looking like an igloo. Would be very interesting to see how the Tesla roof performs through all of that. Back to the power wall. It isn't cheap, obviously, but much like the solar roof, it will start paying for itself as soon as you start using it. The retail for Powerwall unit is 7,000 US. After all the necessary components and installation, it usually comes out to around $12,000. It's expensive. But if your next best option is a gasoline powered generator, then the Powerwall is obviously the superior product. The Tesla solar roof isn't available here in Canada, but Elon has said we should be getting it sometime this year, hopefully in time to be installed in the summer. It's definitely something I would consider getting. Let me know what you guys think. Is it a good choice for a northern climate? I'm curious if anyone has experience with that. Quick reminder to sign up for our newsletter for more Tesla news and speculation. There's a link down below. If you're interested in cryptocurrency, check out our partners at BlockFi. Use our link to receive $250 in free Bitcoin when you sign up. And if you want to continue to learn about everything regarding Tesla, SpaceX, and Elon Musk, we've got two more video options for you on the screen to check out. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up today if you liked it, and subscribe to our channel for weekly content just like this.